Welcome back, everybody. This is Track Yards. I think I'm reading some life forms out there. So and I was scanning around as you said that because I didn't know if it was started yet. So I, I, I scan to say yes. But audio scan to say yes. Yes, guys. I'm Commander Coggins. He's Captain Foley. Today we're here to talk about tech because we love ships and tech as usual. And you know, we got some new tricorders. We got some new toys and some gizmos and gadgets and prodigies. So we're going to talk about those. And these right. are definitely heading to be toys at some point, as as you just. Ooh. Yes. Although the flip action is very important. Yes, we're going to look at the thing by itself and direct comparison to the evolution tricorders, as you guys expect. And of course, go back and watch our phaser episode as well, because these are, you know, brand spanking new, and we love this sort of thing. So Stuart, what do you think of the new, or, or this this new tricorder? I love it. I think it's great. Um, I know that the visual style of this is, seems very much more Kelvin-ish. Like this is like the next gen Kelvin version. It seems like the ship has some Kelvin design elements. So do a lot of the vehicles and just the gadgets in general. And I think it's great actually. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the JJ films because of the Enterprise. I'm just not a fan of that design. Um, but moving forward, if this is what the visual would look like, that's cool. I think these are fantastic tricorders. I don't know how well they fit into the the tri the tricorder lineup as far as they, you know the different designs over the years go. But we're going to be looking at that today, so you guys can join join that journey with us. Um, but I think they're a really cool looking design, and I can't wait to get my hands on one. Now that Playmates has the rights to Star Trek again and going to be making new stuff, I think they're going to lead off with this Prodigy stuff, and uh, this is a perfect perfect one to get into. So. So my my I think my my first statement is this is not going to be this can't be the standard issue tricorder, it's it's too different to anything we've seen. This is a specialist tricorder. I mean the ship is specialist, the combat is specialist. I'm okay with being a specialist tricorder, right? So if you put that in the consciousness, okay, that takes out of the ballpark of of everything else. I, I didn't even consider Kelvin, but yeah, this would easily be TNG Kelvin. It's exactly what they design. So again, like I say, hinting. Honestly, it feels like a step back in design from other designs. Having the the whole thing be a screen that see through and flips up just feels like going backwards. It's it it's looking advanced for the sake of looking advanced rather than actually going towards the advanced futuriness of Trek. And that's weird, but it looks advanced for kids, and that's the demographic. So it's like it's it's it just feels like a, a weird step back to me. I don't think it's a weird step back. I think it ties in more, like I said, with either Kelvin stuff or Discovery stuff with the see through hologram kind of feel. Um, which, you know, I've said this before, you don't want people seeing what's on your screen. <laughs> you could be taking like life form readings of something while it's, you know, you don't want it seeing that necessarily. So that kind of bothers me a little bit, but it's the new aesthetic, unfortunately. That being said, as much as I'm like, doesn't fit, I really like the look. the slide out feature. I don't know. Well, it, it screams as a gimmick, the whole thing, because if it was in its, if it was in its connected uh, you know, one piece, it looks like a pad, just a pad, and when you slide it up, it looks more like a tricorder, but more like a, you know, as if a phone was a tricorder. It loses any tricorder elements, it just becomes a pad that can fl flap up. So I kind of wish it was, a, they said, a scanning pad or something, because it's, it's not a tricorder, it's a, a pad with scanning ability. It's just it's just, a, it's just an iPad, it's a touch screen, it's not really, you know, it's, it's lost all of the tri uh, tricorder elements. Now they've got the graphic here from the coloring book, which makes it look a bit more technical but once you see it see through and how like holographic it is it kind of loses it a bit yeah it actually looks like a, a, fu a future version of the pad the personal access display device that you see in all of tng and voyager and ds9 and so apart from the translucentness this would be a great like it's, it's a hybrid it's a tricorder pad it's like it's not a dedicated high resolution scanner version but it's dedicated planetary for fun like big space so again, with those quantifiers, it could be quite nice. And I could even go with the holographicness of being a pad. Yeah, I never really considered that when I first saw it. But yeah, you're right. It does does have a pad feel to it more than a tricorder. Yeah. And so there is ways it could work sort of, but it's definitely designed to look like a gimmicky kids thing. But, but this is where it gets fun though, Stuart. Here is the lineup. And this presents even more confusing elements which had a lot of stuff recently in tricorders. So, of course, we have, in order of timeline, the Voyager tricorder, and we obviously know the TNG one looked similar, just but more bulky, so we're starting with Voyager. With Voyager, and then the first pad one, which was also ignored in later Trek, so it might not be the standard tricorder, it might be like a custom tricorder, who knows, whatever. So that was the first pad tricorder. 
We have the low dex strike order, which has a medical and an engineering variant, both the same. This one comes in a couple of years later. And then we have the Picard Tricorder, which was in the last episode of Picard, but barely seen, but they did release this picture. So that is how Tricor so a medical Tricorder looked in Picard 2399. And the alternate Tricorder that Janeway used in Endgame, which, you know, is an alternate universe, but it's still where Tech was going, and then Relativity. So if you look at this lineup, clearly the odd one out is Prodigy by an absolute mile, because we know Tricorders, they, you know, they stay to a T. And even Picard tries to make kind of more of a Kelvin... Like a uh, like the USS Kelvin looking tricorder, but it's clearly giving something, and it's not holographic. It's not whatever. It's actually quite faithful. It's just a slide down, I guess. So, what do you think? They've seen the the lineup. Uh, actually, one of the things that I thought of when I first saw it was it felt very similar to the uh, tricorders we see in Enterprise that do have the slide up thing, the exact same kind of feature. Um, but it's it's far. That's, that, Dan, that's retro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's far removed from that timeline wise, but that's the feel that I got. And I'm surprised you actually didn't have it on the list here. Well, um, it, well, it wouldn't factor into the evolution because it's so far back. Yeah, yeah. But that's exactly. a, I didn't even consider it because that's. But just know. just for comparison's sake, I mean, you can see the similarities between the ideas. Well, and in fact, um, once you compare that, that gives massive vibes to the Picard one. They both have a very similar design, actually. Well, that's well, super interesting. Yeah. And interestingly enough, the, the Picard one is a medical tricorder and not necessarily Starfleet, I don't think. It could just be like a, a civilian medical one. Um, well, I mean, it's got civilian L cars. It's got, I mean, it's got a Ferris L cars. It's got the thingy. I mean, I don't know why you would think it was not Starfleet. No, I'm just saying medical tricorders are generally a little bit different anyway, just because they have the, the scanner built in and stuff. But similarly, design wise, they look the same. So anyway, I just, it's a medical tricorder. It's kind of a, for me, it's not really. I wouldn't necessarily consider it. Yeah, I mean, with the lineup here, it doesn't it doesn't fit. Like I said, this this whole series feels more Discovery verse or Kelvin timeline, um, which I don't have a problem with. A lot of people will say that I hate the Kelvin films, and I'm not the biggest fan of them. But honestly, in this time period, this show is really blowing me away with all the visuals and everything. I'm very happy. It, it can fit in Prime, and yet it doesn't need to. You know, well, it's, so. well, it's like with the Discovery stuff. If it's not Prime, it's really cool. If this is Kelvin, it's really cool. Like this would need no explanation to me as being a Kelvin tricorder. It's like, okay, cool, sweet. That's it. Nice evolution. But that's not what they're telling us, at least not yet. I was gonna say it doesn't even have the standard uh, kind of tricorder vibes with the big E and the big I buttons, which are on a lot of them. <laughs> you know, um, so it's missing some of the the, the things that make a tricorder a tricorder. And when we know a 29th century tricorder looks like a tricorder, like that's the canon. So tricorders don't change very much. You know, they they. Well, that's one future. That's one version of the future. It could be, you know. Well, I mean, they're in temporal. They're, they're time cops. They've got to stay in existence. Otherwise, well, okay, we can't be a standard tricorder. It doesn't look or sound like a tricorder. Well, it does sound like a tricorder. Good for them for using the exact same sound effect. Sound effects as we see in Discovery are easy. You can just add them on late and say, "Hey, it's tricorder." But I'm thinking it's a specialist tricorder. For a special ship, I mean, not a single tricorder has a delta on it, and it's got one bright, right there. I mean, it doesn't need to. It doesn't. It shouldn't. Everything new has tr deltas on it. It's just the thing. But yeah, like I say, it, it, it's got to be an alternate. It's got to be a specialist tricorder, pad tricorder, whatever. You know, w would would Janeway really go into high detail about what this tech is? It's a tricorder. What variant was a pad tricorder? Okay, they don't need to know that. I don't even know what you know how to fire weapons. Like, don't you know, like like properly working out all this stuff. So. To sum it up, I like the design. I think it looks really cool. Well, and if you cut to the next one, it. you can kind of see it in uh, in that, yeah. the, the drawing, how glowy and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I really like the way it looks. I love the visuals. I love the, the display. I, I think it's a fantastic... I want one. So, <laughs> put it that way. Um, it's also odd how big it is. I mean, tricorders are meant to be very thin and tall. This one is is, is broad. You can't... Like, it's, it's like having holding an iPad, an iPad mini. It's not a... It's a cumbersome piece of tech. Like size wise, it isn't this nice like a tricorder is a perfectly sized little device. That being said, we saw Jankum and Zero both holding it with one hand, so it's not like it's uncomfortable. Although Zero's hand is quite huge. But <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm a I'm a fan of it for sure. I really think the design looks good. I'm really dig digging all the visuals in this show and uh yeah. I just wanna know where it fits like is it a specialist tricorder is it something different is it a calvin verse one i don't know i just yeah. want to know i like it too i just can't you i gotta wait to find out what it is before i can fully make my mind up because knowing where it fits change all the contexts 
You know, it doesn't work as a tricorder in this era, but once you have the prefaces of other things, you know, especially as Mighty Man reconfirmed the tricorder, like, right, and since the Prodigy isn't brand new, this thing is going to be two to three years old anyway, so this is the exact same time as Prodigy. Assuming it's not from the future or something. No, exactly. Or an alternate universe, yeah. Oh, hey, beautiful. That stuff was yet to come, but it's, it'd be literally within a year of Lower Decks, and Lower Decks, sure, they're using, you know, lower-end stuff, but it's not as if they're going to get bad phases tricorders. But, I mean, we have taught that might literally just be the tricorder and Voyager. They're just still using it, you know. I mean, it's, it's the base. It's the same design almost, give or take. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, interesting. And I'm very glad they introduced one. Very glad for the sound effect. The flip up is cool. Reminds me of one of those. There was a Star Wars game that you flip things. There was a little pad thing that flip and reminds me of lots of other things. Uh, yeah. So guys, let us know in the comment section what you thought of the design. Do you like it? Do you want to see more of it? Does it not fit in the timeline for you? Let us know what your thoughts on it are. And uh, by all means, if you want to take part in conversations like that, join us for the lives. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're notified so you, you know when to join those. And uh, we'd love to have you join us and talk about it okay. in person. Mm -hmm. And you know, we might even do a live on all the tech stuff from this episode because this was a, a tech aplenty. And we absolutely love that sort of stuff. We sort of, we sort of live for that stuff, don't we, really? So the channel was founded on. <laughs> yeah. And no one else does this level of comparison. So, you know, if you if you think that's worth a, a five bucks then you know join us on patreon paypal uh, join the channel super chats all help because without that support direct support we can't get going so any amount but you know all those tech lives come in say hey super chat five and say what you think have that direct voice heard and if you've got this beautiful amazing like oh what if it like like you said like the enterprise tricolor like um can reinvent the conversation instantly so uh thanks in advance and uh, we'll see you next time that's right so until then as far as I can tell, he's Commander Hawkins. I don't have a tricorder currently to, to scan him, so. Well, mine's a, you know, mine's a Discovery Era one, but I haven't got a combat. Damn, I'm going to go, the one day I've got a combat to reach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Commander Hawkins. Have a great rest of the day, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.